Now, we're moving right along. Right after we did trig, we went on to set theory. Now, they're going to have questions just like these, where all they're going to give you <laughs> is three boxes, and you have to say, hey, what would be the next picture? Now, you're not going to draw it. You would have A, B, C, or D. Which one to pick? Okay? Now, you kind of have to see what's going on. Yours already done? Oh, you're just showing me the answer. Okay? Well, I see that this one has moved up to here. You see that? And I see this one has moved this way to there. And the other two remain. These did not move. So in the next picture, this one goes up. So the last one, this one should be here. Now these two, remember, did not move. This one started here, then went to here, then went to here, so the last one should be here. Okay, so that would be our fourth picture. Make sense? Again, just to have seen it once, so you get the same one on the diploma, it seems familiar. Like they, they'll, they'll mess with what the squares are doing, but pay attention to the ones that are staying still. Pay attention to the ones that are moving. This one came all the way down from there, and this one came all the way from there. And these two stayed the same. Okay, next one. We've got 1 plus 8 plus 1 equals 9. Then we got 12, or times 8, I should say. 12 times 8 plus 2 equals 98. 123 times 8 plus 3 equals 897. Okay? Now, what would row 4 be? So, 124 times 8 plus 4, and this equals 9876. Yep, yeah, I did, I did. Hold on. Okay, and then the next one would one be one, two, three, four, five, times eight, plus five is nine, eight, seven, six, five. Okay. Okay, remember we did these. Okay, and I don't know how well yours photocopied, but there is these light little lines, right? So maybe just draw them in really lightly because it kind of looks like they're rectangles, right? But they're not. They're all squares. Now, the numbers, so this is a 4 by 4, okay? Now, for a 4 by 4, you can only use the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. And it asks, how many different ways could John fill this in? Okay, so first of all, what times what times what equals 12? 1 times 4 times 3. 1 times 3 times 4. Okay, so 1 times 3, we already did. So 4 times 3 times 1. 4 times 1 times 3. 3 times 4 times 1. And 3 times 1 times 4. Am I missing any? This is the same thing. There's three numbers. The same thing as 3 factorial. 3 times 2 times 1, right? But you will get 6 ways. So again, a numerical response question. You just put in the six. Here's where they're going to get you, though, is because people are going to try one times two times six. Staff, please excuse this interruption. So this is the problem. One times two times six, people will try because they do multiply to 12. But you're not allowed to use, right? You can only use the numbers 1 to 4. So it is the common error that some students use. 
Okay, then we're to these. We have 28 students on the school track and field team. 19 have blonde hair, 18 have green eyes. Nine do not have blonde hair or green eyes. How many students have blonde hair and green eyes? So what are we looking for? What are we looking for? We always call it the football. Yes, we are. So we have two. What are the name of the two circles? So we got blonde and green eyes. What are my numbers I'm going to be putting in? Nineteen minus nineteen minus football. We don't know the football though. Okay, very good. We put nine out here. That's huge. So we got twenty eight minus nine equals nineteen. So nineteen students have to be dispersed within the two circles. And this is key. Nine. It says nine do not belong in. Oops. Twenty nine minus nine. I mean twenty eight minus nine is nineteen. Okay. Easy. Just breathe. It's gonna be okay. Okay. So now what? Okay, this entire thing has to add up to 19, correct? Because 19 have blonde hair. So we have to go 19. Like how many overlap? Okay, well, first of all, we have 19 plus 8 equals 27. Minus 19 equals the football. And that equals 8. So this becomes 8, and this becomes 0, and this 11. Okay, Gordon, talk later, okay? Let's get through this. It's hot. Okay, now which of the following are disjoint? So here's a definite multiple choice. They'll ask you this because they want to know, do you even know what disjoint means? And it means that they do not have anything in common. So people who drink coffee and tea, now you have to ask yourself, can you drink coffee and tea? Yes. Next one, have a phone line and have a cell phone line. Can you have a phone line and a cell line? Okay, prime numbers and even numbers. Does everyone know their primes? One is not a prime. No, you missed one. Okay, guys, people are like, it's like a <coughs> auction up here. So it is a number that can only be divisible by one in itself. So one doesn't count. So what's the very first prime number? Two, three, five, seven. Next one, 11. Okay, they cannot be divided. Nine can be divided by three. <laughs> now, can you be prime and even? Two. Yes. What's the example? Two. two. Multiples of five and factors of 24. Uh, yeah, sure. Multiples of five or what? Five? No, you got it mixed up. Ten, fifteen, twenty. What are the factors of twenty-four? One, twenty-four. Two, twelve. Three, eight. Four and six. Do they share? This is disjoint. So the answer is D. Four, six. All the multiples of forty-two. So 1 times tw or 24, 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6. 
Okay, example six. The universal set. Okay, guys, if I'm talking, you're not. The universal set of primary and secondary colors in art contains yellow uh, colors yellow, blue, red, orange, green, purple, and black, as shown below. If R is the set of colors that contain red, then what is the complement of R? In other words, what is R prime? This is the complement. So what is the opposite of Yellow, green, and blue. Okay, so they're the only ones that do not have red in them. Okay, so what are they asking for there? Do you know what complement means? Now, Amber used a Venn diagram generator to compare the letters that are in common. So we got, now this stuff, you really got to watch closely, right? So you got apples, bananas, pears. And they've labeled them, and it says the letters that they have in common. Now, the question would be, there's one letter that apples and bananas do not have in common. What is it? L. L. Okay, banana has two letters that are not in common with anybody else. N, N is one of them. And, and B. Okay, how about pears? So it has nothing in common with apples. So the P would not be good. And has nothing in common with bananas. R. Okay, what do you think is the, the two letters here? A, bananas does not have a P. S, what is over here? P and E. Obviously, the other ones don't have letters in them. A's in the middle. A is shared by all of them. There's two letters. So, Sorry, question? Yeah, they share E and they share P. They share two letters. So, Yusuf, please don't, okay? This is, this is hard when people are talking. So it asks, what does the one refer to? It refers to the L. It is the one that Apple has that the other one... None of the rest do. Okay, there are 35 students in John's homeroom class. Five students who take English and biology. Seven students who neither take these subjects. There are three more students taking only English than taking only biology. So we've got our two circles. Let's call this English and that bio. Now remember, we are starting with 35 students. Minus seven. Minus seven. So there's seven out here. Okay, good. So, well, actually, yeah, yeah okay, so, so we've got 35 minus seven. That's our 28. So 28 have to be dispersed in there. How are we going to do that? What's the football? Okay. So there's three more students taking. So this all has to equal 28. And there's got to be three more in English. So 13 and 10. So the question says the number of students who take biology 
is 10. Only biology. No, you just have to guess and test. This always has to be three more than that, so it all adds to 28. Okay. Let's just get through these two. So grade 12 students in high school are required to take at least one of physics, chem, or biology. So there's no one on the outside because they have to take at least one. So we've got physics. We've got chem, and then we have bio. Okay, now I always try to work from the bottom. Like this one is our very middle. So we get the 12 students took all three. Now 33 took chem and bio. So this whole thing has to add to 33. So that's 21. Okay, so that's gone. That's f physics took, er, sorry, 15 took physics and bio. So this would be 3 there. 27 took physics and chem. So we've got 12 already. That's 15. Okay, and so it's just really working backwards. Now it says 68 took bio. So make sure that you go 68 minus 21 minus 12 minus 3, you will get 32. 62 took chem. So just take 62 minus 15 minus 12 minus 20 it would be 62. And 37. Oops, 14, 14, I mean. Sometimes I get reading on the next question without writing it. Okay, and 37 took physics. So we're going to minus 15, minus 12, minus 3. Now, really, we've accomplished what we need to do. It says how many students were in grade 12 that year. So, very, very tough question to do without building this. But when you have built it, just add up every single number. So add all to get 104 students. So that's a tough question, but you just go 7 plus 15 plus 12 plus 3 plus 32 plus 21 plus 14, and you will get 104. Okay, and then the last one we did was the one where you have to figure out the very center. And the formula, we did that. Okay, now they will give you this, hopefully, but you have a quiz tomorrow. So D, U, D stands for dog, and cat, and bird, equals cat plus dog plus bird minus... Oh, no, that's dog or cat or bird, sorry. Minus dog and cat minus dog and bird. I want to put and, but it does mean that, and I did it again. <coughs> minus cat and bird. Okay. So, uh, as I was going here, and then plus dog and cat and bird. Okay, now it says 28 have a dog, a cat, or a bird. So that goes there. Equals. 13 have a dog. So that will go there. 13 have a cat, and 13 have a bird. Gone, gone, gone. 4 have 
only a dog and a cat. So my dog and cat is here. I'm going to go minus. Now, I guess we should talk about, so you get this. Again, if you're not interested in this, please don't bug people that are, okay? Okay, so we have dog, we have cat, and we have bird. Remember, we have an X there. So four have only a cat and or dog and cat. That's four. Three have only a dog and a bird. Dog and bird is three. Two have only a cat and a bird. That's two. So how many people have a dog and a cat? That's this football, right? So that's four plus x. Remember, we put it in brackets. Minus dog and bird is 3 plus x. Minus cat and bird, 2 plus x. Or x plus 2. It never matters which way you do it. Plus dog and cat and bird is x. So I'm going to kind of squish it over here. But my 28 is there, equals 3 times 13 is 39. <coughs> now remember, this minus has to get distributed to here. So that's minus 4 minus x, minus 3 minus x, minus 2 minus x, <coughs> then plus x. Now these two will cancel each other. So I've got 39 minus 4, minus 3, minus 2 is 30. So I get 28 equals 30 minus 2x. Okay, I will subtract 30 to both sides. Negative 2 equals negative 2x. I'll divide by negative 2. 1 equals x. So the question asks, how many children have a... Good afternoon, everyone. At this time, we will... Okay, let's finish this. I've got another minute left. So now, it says how many... We're doing A. So that's 1 now. A equals 1. But here's the harder one. How many have only one pet? Well, we have to go back, and it says 13 have a dog. So all this must add up to 13. So 13 minus 4 minus 5 minus 8. This is 5 here. 13 have a cat. So then we subtract 4, 1, and 2, and you'll get 6. 13 have a bird. So we minus the 3 minus the 1, 7. So A is 1. B, we have to go 7 plus 5 plus 6 equals 18. Only have one pet. Okay, so these will all be on the diploma in some shape or form. Okay, so if you turn, you're doing page 9 to 12. Okay, it's only uh, 10 questions and 3 numerical resp <coughs> response, but make sure you're doing them. Because I am going to quiz you on them tomorrow. <coughs>